Hello, friends, Tony here, welcome. Now, I have find uh, many UI libraries for React.js, but for Vue.js, I think uh, this prime view is the most uh, good one we have here. Tilewind.primeview.org, the website, and this is very good. Now, let's get started to this one, but before that, let's create a Vue.js project, and I'm going to use here the Tilewind website, and let's copy this command because I want also to have the title CSS there. And let's open the terminal and paste that in. Hit enter. Then we need the CD in the my project and run the npm install dash d title CSS, post CSS and auto prefixer. So let's CD in the my project and I'm going to say npm install first. Okay, and then I'm going to install the title CSS. Of course, we need to init the Tilewind CSS to create a file. So let's paste that in. And now create the, the Tilewind CSS config file. Then what we need is to add these two lines on the tilewind.config.js file. So let me open this project with a VS code. And I'm going to zoom it for you. And here we have tilewind.config. And we need to pass the index HTML and also Vue.js, Vue.js, DS, and so on. Let's save. Next, what we need is to copy and add them. Alt source style.css file. I think we have that, so let's go to source. Here is the CSS. I'm going to select all and paste that in. Save. Next. We need to run the npm run dev and we are okay. So let's copy this just to see if everything works correctly, okay? So I'm going to copy this one. I'll close this, close this, and let's open the app.view. I'm going to remove this one and remove this and paste that one. So the h1 with the hello world and also I'm going to remove the style and let's save and let's open here and run the npm run dev and now let's open the project and here we are if we zoom yeah if we change the color here so i'm going to say for example text to be yellow and let's say yellow 400 save yeah we have text yellow good now let's go to prime view and getting started. We have Vite and Next also. Let's go to Vite and let's use this npm install prime view. Open the terminal and paste that in. Hit enter. Then we need to import the prime view from prime view slash config and say app use prime view. So I'm going to copy this. Just use and let's see we need to go to mine.js and here we need to import the prime view from prime view slash config and then here we say create app passing the app component and also i'm going to say use the prime view unstyled the true let's save that then we need to download the release from uh, GitHub. So maybe you don't uh, read. So download the release from GitHub. And let me just go there and download that release. So the zip here, the zip file. And here is the zip file. I'm going to unzip that. And then I'm going to, what we need is, once the zip is downloaded, extract the contents the folder of your choice. So for example, slash src slash presets. And let's open here. Now here we have presets and I'm going to move the slash src. Here we are, we have presets. Okay, then what we need is to import Lara, for example. And I'm going to say, copy that. And here, Let's say import 
Lara, and then we say PT colon Lara and the configuration here. I think we are okay. Let's close this. Next, also on the tilewind.config, we need to copy the colors. And now let's zoom it a little bit out and let's copy the colors here. And let's go to tilewind.config and we have extend passing the colors. Let's save, close. Next one, we have a CSS variables. In our step is defining the default values for the colors in RGB format. These can be done in a global CSS file in your VIT application. Example, source assets base.css. But uh, in our case, we have in the style CSS here, and I'm going to do that. Save, close. Next, I think we are okay. Now let's go to components and let's choose a component. I'm going to choose drop down here. We need to import the drop down. So on the app view, I'm going to import that. Next, what we need is to use this one and I'm going to toggle. Let's copy. Let's come here and first I'm going to say div with a class to be max width to be let's say 7xl mx auto And let's space this one and also now let's close the div. So we are okay. Then what we need is import ref from view in, and create a constant for selected city. And also create a const cities, which is going to be ref and with some hard coded cities here. So I'm going to copy and paste it right here save and i think we are okay now it's going to look like this so let me see if i have run the npm run dev good and let's open the project yeah we have failed the resolve import okay let's see why we have that on the mind js we have this Lara from add presets. Let's do it like this. Presets slash Lara, like this, save, come here. And yeah, now as you can see here, we have the drop down and it's going to look like this. Let's see another component in here. So I'm going to scroll down. And here we have a menu like this. And what we need to do is to import the prime view slash menu, or we have also the menu bar. Yeah, I'm going to import this menu bar and let's go to app.view, import the menu bar from here. Next, what we need is to say something like this, model items, and I'm going to toggle this. So let's copy. And here, instead of the H1, now I'm going to remove the H1, I'm going to add this one, so the menu bar, but we need the items here. And the items is going to be RF with an array and let's let me copy all of them. Let's copy that and I'm going to paste it right here. Let's save and let's see on the browser what we have. Okay, now here we have the menu. Very nice. Looking good. If I click here, we have 
the list and also we have on hover a new list here okay friends that's it all about this video how to work and how to install this prime view on the Vue.js. now if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much